requiring a reason for call-in in should be illegal. They only use it against you anyway. Me. After a four hours crying anxiety attack. I need to take a mental health day. Them. What is your reason? Me. That I need to take a mental health day. Them. Why? Me. It's personal. Them. That could mean you are calling in because your iPad broke. Me. Sigh. I'm having an anxiety attack. Them. If stress were a valid excuse to call in no one would ever work. Me. Stress isn't the say as anxiety. It's like depression. It's a disease. Them. You can't call in because you're sad either. Once I had to take a one half a personal day. I worked in a union. And I called my boss to tell her. And I said, I need to take the afternoon off because my front doorknob broke and I. She cut me off and was like, you don't need to tell me why you are taking it. It's your day. She was one of my best bosses. When I left for another job. Her only questions when I told her was, does it pay better? Is it a good opportunity for you? You'd be silly not to take it then. Quote. When I was young and naive. I once told a supervisor the truth that my sister was going through postpartum depression and having a panic attack and I wanted to go be with her. And the supervisor said, I'm sorry to hear that. But it's not a reason to miss work. I remember being taken aback because I didn't think I was. Asking her if I could take a personal day. I was explaining to her why I was taking a personal day. That was the day I learned you just say, I'm going to take a personal day today. Because fuck. That lady for thinking she could sit in judgment of whether I could use my rightfully earned personal time to go be with someone I love who needed me. Call in sick. They don't need to know if it's mental or physical. Never give them one. Folks have said so. They're right. Don't volunteer any information. It will only ever be used against you. Hashtag T-H-E-C-H-E-M-I-C-A-L-S-I-N-M-Y-N-O-G-G-I-N-D-O-N-T-F-U-C-K-I-N-W-O-R-K, mate. You don't have to get specific. Tell them you're sick. If they continue to badger you make up something like a stomach bug. Anything that is contagious usually works well. Just tell them you're sick. Mental health is none of their business. The reason I use is. I'm having vision problems. What I'm thinking is I can't see myself going to work today. This is rough to hear. I've been the one to make and receive those calls and I remember the culture ingrained in you as a manager. The need to try and force people into work. But as time went on I learned if people are calling out. For whatever reason. They're calling out. At some point I broke from that culture. And changed from answering with why? To are you okay and do you need anything? And when I did I realized I didn't want to be a part of that culture anymore and left. It is simple to me. I need to take a mental health day is a reason. Also stress is a valid reason to be off work. Stress is a killer. Edit. To everyone responding to me. You don't need to give a reason. I know. I was saying that it is a reason. Not that a reason had to be given. My foreman told me a story about his buddy who is also a foreman the other day. Journeyman asks, can I have the day off Friday? I need to take my mom to the hospital. No. What? Why? I need to take her. If you're asking for the day off. The answer is no. I have to be there for her. She won't be able to drive. If you're asking for the day off. The answer is no. Boss I'm taking Friday off. Okay that's fine. Quote. In this day and age. Better to just keep the details to yourself. Also. I work for the union. 
so your boss can't really tell you that you can't have the day off. Don't ever explain yourself like that. It's not necessary. If you are a featuring EE and have been there a year, you may qualify for FMLA. You can take it intermittently. Meaning if you have an anxiety episode, you just call in and say you're taking an FMLA day. It can even be used by the hour or less. A doctor would have to write it up as necessary. If you're under a DRS care, it would be pretty easy. Ask your hour person for FMLA paperwork. They will see why when you get it completed. My IADS are acting up. IADS equals I ain't doing shit. I hate when people do this. At my current job there are a lot of problems but we are allowed to call off and not give a reason. The 16th I have a therapy appointment but they only have a spot at 5. I work until 5. I emailed my manager and company owner and told them on the 16th I will be leaving 15 minutes early. I got a response. Cool. Thanks for letting us know. Once every three months I come in one to three hours late because I have a psychiatrist appointment. Sometimes depending how bad my mental state. It is more often. Never is an issue and no one needs to know why. My co-worker is taking three days middle of the month this month. Reason? Personal time. It should be that way. We are all human and an excuse should not be required. Don't offer information. If they ask, don't tell. If they pressure, lie. This is my way. It might be illegal. Depending on what state you live in. Here. In California. Sick leave is for, diagnosis. Care. Or treatment of an existing health condition of. Or preventive care for. An employee or an employee's family member or for an employee who is a victim of domestic violence, sexual assault, or stalking. Employers are not allowed to require advance notice of use of sick days. Your employer is allowed to ask you why you are taking a sick day, including asking the nature of your ailment. But asking questions about illnesses covered by the Americans with Disabilities Act is not allowed. These illnesses include a wide array of conditions that impair walking, seeing, hearing, speaking, or breathing. For example, an epileptic individual who has had a seizure does not have to disclose the details of his or her reasons for taking a sick day, while someone with a common cold or flu does need to disclose their illness. That is because common ailments that are not chronic or personal in nature do not have protection under an act like the ADA. So, if you live in California you can simply state, when asked why you need sick time off that you do not have any contagious illness, which your employer might need to know about, but that your need is personal in nature, and related to a diagnosed chronic illness which you prefer not to discuss. I don't know what state you live in. You can look up the laws for your state. Here is the problem with the whole notion of it all. Adults getting treated like children. If there's a reason you're out. You should simply be respected. What? You're going to be forced to come in. How's the work going to be that day? How productive as a disgruntled person at work? People depend on people to get things done. If you're treated with respect and paid respectfully, then that's what you're going to put back into the work. You're going to feel good about the project you're involved with. And you're going to do your best to show up and if you can't, there's clearly a good reason as to why. I never understood how employers get this culture all wrong. I had a boss literally sit on my clock while I was a salaried employee. I wanted to leave 30 minutes early once when all the work I needed to do was done. The disgusting part was this. I told him, okay. You want me to stay for 30 more minutes? What would you like me to work on? Crickets. Then, that's not the point. It actually is the point. I ended up leaving the job and working for myself.
I was so incredibly fortunate to have had the ability to do so. My days were productive and I felt human again. Here is the biggest piece of irony. Everyone that I had worked with instantly changed their view. My old boss would still be in touch to work on projects. But his entire demeanor changed. It was creepy. I could literally say, yeah. Woke up at 9. Wanted to sleep in. Started emails after a workout class at 10. And he'd reply, that's awesome. Love that. Edited for slight grammar. You already showed them you have no boundary about personal information. At your next job, set the boundary firmly and early. If you have an employer who will require a valid reason always. 100% of the time answer this question with, I have diarrhea and I can't get off the toilet without it running down my leg. Even if your iPad did die and you want the day to get it fixed. In Norway, it's illegal to ask why you can't work. If you're sick, you're sick. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.